my! Whew, it's really hard to see in here today. Huh, this fog is as thick as pea soup. Mmm. Soup. Let's get rolling with today's opening song. Share with us your favorite soup. Chicken noodle hot, chicken noodle cold, chicken noodle in the pot nine days old. You know, I've always wondered with this song, nine days old? Seriously? But they say peas porridge hot, peas por I should have started with that one because some of you might say chicken noodle soup. Okay, but you know, you know, do you know the song? Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold. Peas porridge in the pot, nine days old. So friends, share with us. Let's go uh, Let's go back to Kaylin, find out what her favorite soup is. What's one of your favorite soups? My favorite is chicken noodle soup. <gasps> yeah, that's what I was just singing. We, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you, great. I'll sing it again. Chicken noodle hot, chicken noodle cold, chicken noodle in the pot, nine days old. I might change it to one day old because I just don't know how I feel about that nine day old thing. Hey Joe, what's your favorite soup? Let's check with Miss Stephanie. Uh, we know both Kaylin and Miss Stephanie like soup for the sake of soup. What's your favorite soup? I like so many soups, but I think I'll have to go with butternut squash soup as my favorite. Oh, cool. Okay, I'll see if I can get all this in. Butternut squash hot, butternut nut squash cold, butternut squash in the pot, one day old. Whew. Got it. <laughs> that was kind of tricky. Okay, tomato soup hot, tomato soup cold, tomato soup in the pot, one day old. Wait a minute, tomato soup cold. I think they call it, um, what did they call it? Gazpacho? I think it's gazpacho. Oh, potato cheese soup. Potato cheese hot, potato cheese cold, potato cheese in the pot, two days old. <laughs> yeah, see, I, that was two days, I made it two days old because we had the soup, then it was one more. Do I'll do this one three days old. I think three days is a good ballpark number. Minestrone! That's fun to say. Minestrone. Min minestrone hot. Minestrone cold. Minestrone in the pot. Four days old. Uh-oh. Three is really a good rule of thumb. Four? But then nine? Seriously? <laughs> I guess you could freeze it. Yeah, or it depends on the soup. I guess if there's like dairy in it or not, maybe makes a difference. I don't know. I don't know. Friends, let's go see what movie's got to say today. I was reading earlier today that soup is one of the most popular foods in the world. Yeah, in the United States alone, we eat more than 10 billion bowls of soup each year. Yeah, yeah. Most soups are healthy, easy to make, and delicious. Mm, the most popular soup in the United States is... Chicken noodle. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I do like vegetable soup. <laughs> what kind of soup do you like? Oh, chicken noodle, that is popular. Ooh, yes, yeah, soup and grilled cheese. They do go together pretty well. That's classic. Ooh, and rice. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about Moby and, um, um, what kind of soup do you like? Um, minestrone, you got me thinking that, I think, there's no meat in minestrone, right, technically? Let me check with Steph. Hey Steph, is there any, are, is there any meat in minestrone soup? There's not, there are beans and vegetables. Beans, that's what it is. That's what makes vegetable and minis, vegetable soup versus minestrone is the beans. I believe so, yeah. I bet Moby would like that soup. Okay, I think so. thanks, thanks Miss Stephanie. Sure. Okay friends, uh, it's time for today. One, two, three sentence story. We're gonna write a story in three sentences. In the first sentence, we set the scene. In the second sentence, there is a problem. But in the third sentence, there is a solution. 
I like getting fancy at the end. Friends, share with us a person, place, or thing to start today's story. And for the second word and the third word, let's go to Kaylin today for today's first word in the story. Any word at all, Kaylin? What do you think? Mm. Cotton candy. <sighs> Cotton candy? <laughs> okay, friends, I love it. We're going to start off today's story with cotton candy. All right. Moby called me up yesterday and said, let's have cotton candy soup for dinner tonight. <laughs> I love it. Actually, I have no idea what, what um, cotton candy soup is, but man, oh man, I can't wait to find out. Great job, Wimage Board. It's coming together with the, with the illustration and the design of today's story. So friends, we need a second word. Chalk. Oh no! Burr, 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 burr. Chalk is going to cause trouble today. Okay. Moby called me up the other day and said, let's have cotton candy soup for dinner. My... Grandma, who was writing on the chalkboard, said, You can't have cotton candy soup for dinner? <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. I guess Grandma was shutting this one down. No cotton candy soup. Okay, so Grandma says no cotton candy soup. She's even writing it on a chalkboard. I guess you really wanted to make sure we knew. Uh, but we need to solve this problem. Now, here's the tricky part. Do we solve this problem by actually figuring out how to get cotton candy soup? Or do we listen to Grandma and find out... Um, this is a tricky story, friends. We either need to... Um, hmm. You see what I'm saying? I gotta, I, I wanna, I gotta respect Grandma, but we gotta solve this problem... All right, let's see what I'll uh, just see what happens, friends. Moby called me up the other day and said, "Let's have cotton candy soup for dinner." Grandma though started right away writing on the chalkboard, "No cotton candy soup." Just then, the children in the neighborhood came over and said, "Let's have minestrone instead." And Grandma said, Okay, you can have a little bit of cotton candy soup for dessert. <laughs> I think we figured it out, friends. Um, we we decided not to have cotton candy soup. So it didn't really solve the problem, but I guess sometimes you just got to understand that um, you just got to accept the way it goes, right? And then Grandma surprised us with uh, cotton candy soup for dessert. <laughs> I think we did it, friends. I think we figured out that story. Thanks, Women's Board. We'll check back with you later and see what uh, what you come up to add with the children. The cotton candy dessert soup. I wonder what flavor. Hmm. Uh, anyways, anyways, friends. It's time for today's language explorers. We're gonna find out how to say some words in American Sign Language from Miss Stephanie. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> All right, the first word is soup. soup. So you take one okay. hand and it kind of looks okay. like a bowl and your other hand, you have two fingers together like this. Okay. Soup, Ooh. soup. So you put the fingers up to your mouth like you're scooping soup. You got it. Nice. The next word is bowl that I wanted to teach you. Yeah, I've got so, a bowl. Yeah, you do, bowl. Okay. Like this. Take your two hands okay. and you cup them together like okay. a bowl shape. That's bowl. Got it. Okay, and now this one, I thought I would teach you how to say spoon. Oh, I got that too. It is basically the same as soup, hmm. except instead of going all the way up to your mouth, you just go up a little bit. This oh. is spoon. Okay. Spoon. So I think, what do you think about having Kaylin join us and no. see? Yeah. What she thinks, if she can do that with us. All right, Kaylin, are you ready? Okay, let's say soup. Soup. You got it. All right, bowl. Bowl. Nice. And then spoon. Spoon. Excellent. Yay. Oh, oh, kitty, kitty. What do you call that? Like um, video bombed by a kitty? 
I, I think so. Yes. I think the kitty wants some soup. I think she does. She just jumped right up onto the yeah. table. Whoop, is there soup here? What's going on? If there was, she would start to stick her little paw in it and eat it. Oh, man, that's what. Well, then the cat might know sign language for spoon and soup. Perhaps. No. No, I'm stretching it there. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. Well, thanks, Miss Stephanie, for today's language explorers. Whew, guess what, friends? Um, our friend Nancy from Fit Kids 360 is here today for Wimmy's Friends, my friends. <laughs> Hi, Wimmy. Hi, guys. My name is Nancy from Fit Kids 360, and today I want to show you a really cool game that we play in our classes. So, real quick, Fit Kids 360, we talk about nutrition, we talk about exercise, really good things to make a healthier you and have a healthier life. And we talk about that with both kids and parents, and this is one of the things that we use to show everyone how to think about food. So, there are five main food groups, and we can see them right behind me in our my plate. Fruits, vegetables, protein, grains, and dairy. And we need to be eating all of this. But it's good to think about what exactly we are eating. So, for example, right in front of me, I have some cards, and they represent some food. So, let's see. Mm, chicken right so when we're eating chicken it's good to think about what is this giving me so chicken is a really really good source of protein so now that you know when you eat chicken you know hey i'm getting my protein let's see what else i have some grapes and grapes are a do you know it fruit that's right. So grapes are really sweet, really good source of natural sugar. What else? See, we have some oatmeal. And oatmeal goes in the grain group. We also have a pumpkin. Now pumpkin, I usually think Halloween, right? But pumpkins are really, really tasty vegetables as well. Same goes for the next card I have, which is peas and I like to remind myself by thinking hey this is green and this is green vegetable what else let's see I have some rice now rice is a type of grain just like oatmeal they even look a little bit alike just a little bit I also have a banana banana really sweet as well really yummy and it's a fruit so I'm gonna put it right here. Are you guessing some of these? <laughs> now, I also have yogurt, and I can start to put that in my dairy category. Right up there. Awesome. And, so that I don't leave it alone, I also have some cheese. It has holes in it, so I know it's Swiss cheese. And I'm gonna put that right up here because it is also a source of dairy. Now, lastly, I have my tricky guy, which is tofu. If you guys have ever seen tofu, it looks like blocks, almost like cheese, but it's actually a source of protein. Comes from plants. Ta-da! Here's my plate. So, did you guys enjoy this? Did you know some of them? We love to talk about this stuff because it teaches people what they're eating. Now. Now that you've seen my plate and now that you know what these are, I hope the next time you see something like your glass of milk, you think, hmm, where does this go? Right up there. See you next time, Winnie. Uh, thanks, Nancy. That was so cool, so cool. You know, it got me thinking about soup and the ingredients in soup. I wanna bring Miss Stephanie and Kaylin on and I'm gonna quiz them. Okay, so thinking of a bowl of soup, um, I'll go to Kaylin first. What are some vegetables that you might find in a bowl of soup? You might find some carrots. Oh, carrots, perfect. Okay, Miss Stephanie, what is a grain you might find in a soup? Rice. Yes, that was, yes, yes, okay, let's see. Protein, Kaylin, what protein might be in a soup? Chicken. Chicken! Okay, and then there was dairy. Miss Stephanie, what kind of dairy might be in soup? Cheese. Cheese. Okay, okay. Now, for either of you, fruit? 
tomato. Tom- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Tomato is a fruit. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Stephanie. Thanks, Kaylin. Oh, man. Soup. Could, it, it could technically. I wonder if we could get all five. Do we get them all? Dairy. Yeah, we, we got them all. Yeah, we did. Um, man, oh, man. Well, anyways, let's keep the show going, friends. Let's see what Sibley's got for today's joke. What do ducks put in their soup? Hmm. Um, I don't know. Quackers! <laughs> All right, friends, take a deep breath. Breathe in. Hold that. One, two, three, four. Let it loose. It's time for today's slowing down. Okay, okay, let's see, what's next? We've got, uh, uh, our book, our book talk is time for Check Out This Book. Hi, Lenny. Hi, everyone. So glad to see you all today. I am going to talk to you about this bright red book called Growing Vegetable Soup, written and illustrated by Lois Ellert, and published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. In this book, we meet a child and their father. And before they make vegetable soup, the book starts way back at the beginning and they are getting out their garden tools to plant all of the seeds to grow the vegetables that they're gonna need for their vegetable soup. So we get to see them through a whole growing season and all the hard work they put into making this vegetable soup. In the end, we get to see them harvest all of the vegetables, chop them up and cook them to make delicious soup. If you're somewhere cold right now and it's winter time where you are, soup might sound really tasty and warm for you. If you live somewhere warm, soup is still fabulous. So in the end, there's a special treat. The recipe that they use in this book you can make yourself. So maybe you didn't grow all the vegetables, but you can enjoy their journey and then maybe try the soup yourself at the end. Happy reading, friends. Bye. Oh, that book is so cool. Growing vegetable soup. Mm. All right, friends. We're going to play a game. It's a game we call Number Crunching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, 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 here we go. Um, this is how it works, friends. You know Miss Stephanie and Kaylin, but friends at home, we are going to pick a number in our brain between 1 and 10. Then we go around and we either say higher or lower or that's it. Okay, so I've got a number in my head, Miss Stephanie, between 1 and 10. What do you think it is? Six. Lower. Three. Higher. Five. You got it! Five! Right in the middle! (laughs) Your turn! I'm thinking of a number between one and ten. Okay, I'm ready. Ten. Lower. One. Higher. Six. Higher. Seven. Higher. Nine. Lower. Oh, it's going to be eight. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. <laughs> it is. It was eight. Okay. Okay. I go again. I got it. Um, I'm picking a number between one and ten. Four. Lower. One. It is one. <laughs> you got it, Kaylin. I'm thinking of a number between one and ten. Ten. Lower. Seven. Higher. Ooh. Uh, it's eight or nine. It's eight or nine. I'm gonna go with eight. Higher. Oh, nine. It's nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Steph, you got it. Okay, I'm thinking of a number between one and ten. Hmm. 
Six. Uh, lower. Four. Lower. Two. Yes! Oh, it's two! two. <laughs> Great job, friends, playing number crunching! Friends at home, you can play that game anytime! <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, friends. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. I'm excited. We're going to play a game here where um, I need your help um, to give me the ideas. We're going to we're gonna write a song together for soup. <laughs> Take a look at this there. Wimmy's song about soup. So here's the questions. The soup that I'm making there, what's in it? You tell me. We could be anything. Um, we'll do a few. So a bunch of people. Share with us what could be in the soup. Uh, share with us what it could taste like. Oh, yeah, soup, soup, soup. I love soup, too. Okay, and then share with us whose recipe are we making? This is all going to be silly. Whose recipe are we making? Now, there might be a secret ingredient in this soup. And separately from soup, what's your favorite food? Okay, uh, okay, chicken. So there's chicken in the soup. Uh, friends, keep posting ideas. We need lots of ideas. Post the comments, the thoughts. Um, chicken's in it. Oh, Joseph! It's Joseph's recipe! <laughs> okay, I got that. Joseph recipes. There's chicken, there's tomatoes. Um, let's bring in Miss Stephanie and see if she wants to add anything specifically. We know this is Joe's recipe. Uh, Miss Stephanie, what, uh, what do you want to add to it? Anything specific? Well, what if we add a little twist of Ooh. lemon? Oh, lemon. Fun. Okay, lemon. That'll give a little zip. We got carrots. Ooh, Grimmy's veggie soup. Aha. Uh -huh. I like it. That's fun to say. Um, secret ingredient is love. Okay, I got to remember all this. Secret. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Two points for that one. Okay, so love's the secret ingredient. It's Joe's recipe. It tastes like Grimmy's vegetable soup, I'll say. Um, we got carrots, tomatoes, I think, right? Okay, I think I've got enough information other than I'm going to go to Kaylin. Kaylin, what is anything at all one of your favorite foods? <laughs> Some of my favorite foods are tomatoes. Tomatoes, perfect. Okay, I love it. Okay, here we go, friends. Here we go. From the top, I'm going to sing a song about soup. Okay, this is carrot soup. It also has tomatoes. It tastes like Grimmy's vegetable soup. It's Joe's recipe. The secret ingredient is love, but I bet you did not know. It goes best with tomatoes. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Be, 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 deep. That was a song about soup. <laughs> I think I got it. I could re-arise, rearrange some things, but that was fun, friends. We just made a song about soup. I love it. All right, friends. Let's go see what the Wimage Board has created since we last were visiting. Hi, Wimage Board. Let's see what you got here. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. The dog is trying to get the cotton candy. Cotton candy for all. Whoa, that went from... <laughs> That went from uh, a little bit of cotton candy soup for dessert to cotton candy for all. Home sweet home. Grandma changed that note from no cotton candy to that. And look at the friends, the kids of the neighborhood. We're having soup and cotton candy dessert for all. And that, that dog is so happy. <laughs> Thanks, Wimage Board. It's great checking back with you. Great job indeed. Whew. Well, friends. It's been another awesome show. Thanks for spending time with us. Thanks for hanging out. We're going to get... Oh, you know what? Oh, no, 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 no. I almost forgot something so important, friends. I got all excited about that dog jumping up and down. <laughs> I forgot. What is it we forgot? I'll ask Kaylin. Kaylin, what did we forget to do? We forgot to do Find It Fast. We did forget to do Find It Fast. Let's do Find It Fast. Okay, friends, find something that warms you up, like soup. Find something that smells good, like soup. And find a bowl. Uh -huh. That's soup. Soup goes well in a bowl. Miss Stephanie, what did you find? I found some hot tea in this mug. It keeps my hands warm. Oh. I also found this wooden bowl. Oh. And then one of my favorite smells is vanilla extract. Oh. Mm, so mm. yummy. Let me smell. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Woo! Great. I couldn't actually smell it. I was just pretending. I love it. That's fun. A blanket. A candle. A bowl. 
Haha, <laughs> friends! It's so fun playing this game. Find it fast. Let's see, what smells good? Candles? Um, the fall leaves? Oh, you! <laughs> now, either I smell good, or I can warm up the hearts of those around me. <laughs> I like that, Joe. I like that. Let's see, a grilled cheese sandwich smells good. Hot chocolate, that can warm you up. That can smell good. You could eat, drink it out of a bowl. Hmm. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Um, a bowl. I don't. Oh, I got this bowl. I need to put something in there, though. <laughs> they put a bowl on my desk and they didn't give me any soup. Hey, Kevin, is it possible to get some soup later? I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good. Vegetable soup, please. Okay, well, friends, we did it. We did it all. This is such a fun show. I'm glad you were here. Thanks for hanging out. Now it's time for the dance party. Let's do it, friends. Let's start to dance at home. Dance along with us. Woohoo! Go, Miss Stephanie. Go, Kaylin. Go, Miss Stephanie. Go, Kaylin. Wimmy's Words is brought to you by Acrisher, Consumers Credit Union, Meyer, and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, and with additional support from these great partners. <laughs>